Hi there, people. So, I'm up for another breakfast with Spray Love. So, what I'm eating is actually very boring still. Um, you've I've always done breakfasts. Um, when I do videos, it's always like the typical, you know, ordinary breakfast I do. And this is oatmeal with protein powder and um, and and like frozen fruits but it's overnight oats so they get back to ordinary fruits it's like peaches and mango and pineapple and strawberries so that's it it's a very low calorie um breakfast but tons of proteins um there's fruits so there's like and there's fiber and and yeah it, it tastes pretty good you know i put like a some cinnamon and um, sweeteners and uh, also a a fake um, maple syrup but it's not not real maple syrup because this would add too much calories um i'm not like a complete freak for like uh, calorie wise and stuff but i like to keep my day-to-day -day eating pretty low calorie and then when there's sometimes i, I really want to eat um something different like i want to eat pizza or i want to eat a, a dessert or then i can do it and still have like a decent uh caloric intake for the, the week mm. it's pretty good it's right on you know for for breakfast it's perfect And I'm already wearing a fragrance today. You've seen my last video. Um, if you've seen my last video, you'll know that I, I have quorum. And then um, I'm wearing it these days. I'm really feeling it. I, I like the Okamas a lot. <clears throat> and the dry down on that fragrance, it's unbelievable. For real, probably the best part of that fragrance is a dry down it becomes woodsy like a forest but it's not so harsh you know people tend to think that this fragrance is very very harsh and it it like is pretty harsh when you spray it on there's this green tobacco there's all these things going on but when it settles it's not that harsh it's pretty smooth uh pretty smoothly blended and it's it's got this, I don't know how to describe, leathery, tobacco, very dry presence, but with the, the woods and the oak moss, it really smells like a, a forest, and it's very, like, not sweet at all. It smells pretty clean, pretty classy, in fact, very, very classy, in my, like, in my opinion. And you will see, like, throughout the fragrance, this, the fragrance has, like, a story to tell, you know, because there's, beginning, it's very intense, very present. There's all these notes coming, coming about and a bit, like, almost overpowering. And there's citruses uh, off the top, but they fade away pretty quickly. Uh, and it kind of transitions into something that is really, I think, I like Sauvage Elixir. So there's this kind of a cinnamon vibe, old school vibe that you can find in Sauvage Elixir. But then it, the dry down, the far dry down of that fragrance is, in my opinion, a lot better. There's no embroxen, there's nothing scrapey about it. It's just very clean, like there's the soapy cleanness remains the leather and tobacco remains but everything just finds its place it's quieter but still very present and um, it smells like a forest it's really really cool mm. i like those kind of fragrances that it's like completely inexpensive and it's it's an adventure in itself you know it's i like it and the bottle is very 80s looking you know it's it's cool with the, the plastic top and the cheap atomizer 
something about it. It's just what you want from, from that kind of fragrance. I'm thinking about, you know, mixing it up, you know, doing a layering with other fragrances. Mm, I've thought about different fragrances that I thought would be a good matchup. Uh, for sure, I'm going to try with um, Luna Rosa Carbon because of the Ambroxan feel. I think I'm, I will be able perhaps to emulate something in the vein of Sauvage Elixir with, with that fragrance, but different, like completely different, but in the vein with the Ambroxan and Lavender added to it, it's going to be like, I don't know, perhaps a, a very nice compliment. Um, other layering combos I thought of were perhaps um, there's my I guess uh, 1981 Los Angeles. That could be a, a good layering with that. They're both very complex, but perhaps the notes will join. I, I'm going to do like the scientific experimentation on paper and try to figure out which one to combine with this one because I think it's a superb scent by itself but I feel it's it, it, it can bring something different to other fragrances too so I'm, I'm gonna check this out you know it's a it's always a fun thing to do um, and so I came back from vacation in Cuba I was wearing um, Jimmy Truman ice so that was like a killer I almost did the bottle uh, entirely, uh, I I brought um, Aqua di Parma Fico di Amalfi, so the fig fragrance that I was that I bought uh, earlier this year, magnificent scent. It's just amazing. It's just completely amazing, and um, also the other one, yeah, I just brought like the other one. I just brought Prada Luna Rosa Carbon because on um, my vest that I was bringing to the airport. It was still a faint scent of Luna Rosa Carbon and last minute I was like, let's throw this in. It's a good scent. I like it. So like when when the day was over and they we were like going to dinner and stuff, I was putting on most of the time Luna Rosa Carbon, but sometimes also Fico di Amalfi. Um and yeah, Jimmy Chuman Ice, I was like wearing that on the beach, at the pool, whatever. It depended on the look I wanted to have too, because sometimes I want I I went for Fico di Amalfi. It was a it was a good combo. I, I really liked the combo of fragrances that I brought to Cuba, and it was tropical. The beach setting was amazing. It was a, a good departure. And right now it's like snowing and uh, like super super cold. Uh, so it was a, a good departure. Right now in like a better state of mind to continue forth uh, in. In new adventures and uh, yeah I hope you will be in it with me so spread love and spray love bye bye